Hey Lone Wolves and Pack members, I seem to have made a few waves with my most recent confession, the one where I don't really like wolf song relationships. People are asking me to redo the movie with characters and relationships that make more sense. I don't know, maybe I should. Doing that would be a lot easier than jumping into a sequel. It's really hard to build a long-lasting house when the foundation is made out of jelly. That said, I'm getting a lot of questions about how I would redesign the characters if there were a revamped wolf song movie. So today I'm gonna rip apart Kara's design and give her a full-fledged makeover. So what's gonna happen to the blonde sparkle dog with human hair that we've all come to know and love? We'll get into that shortly. But before we do, I want to do a quick shout out to today's sponsor, Torbox Neo. Equipped with various knobs and buttons, the Torbox Neo speeds up any creator's workflow. Never again will I have to use my pen to undo a bad line, or switch from my pen to my eraser, or zoom in and out of my canvas. This little controller has all of my most used shortcuts programmed directly into the buttons. You can even customize these however you need to, adding whichever commands and shortcuts you tend to use the most. Personally, I don't take on sponsorships or brands that I don't use myself, which is why there are next to no product reviews on my channel. But I knew as soon as I added this baby to my tool belt, I had to tell you guys about it. So if you're interested in learning more about the Torbox Neo, click on the link in the description. And if you're ready to try it out yourself, be sure to use the coupon code THUNDER to get $10 off your purchase. Now with the help of Torbox Neo, let's get back to this redesign. There are three things I can't stand about Kara's original design. One, the lack of symbolism, two, her hair, and three, the colors. While I would keep some similar elements of the original, I would focus heavily on these three aspects. Also, I'm sorry to those that like the old design, but if I have to draw her a million times, I can't make myself do it if she looks like this. Moving on, my biggest beef with Kara's design is it really doesn't say anything about her or who she is as a character. This is supposed to be our protagonist, but she looks so plain and average, and I'm looking at her design at the base level without colors and her hair. She has a darker belly with lighter fur on her back, and that's basically it. Nothing about her design foreshadows why she's important to the story, and don't get me wrong, character designs don't have to do this, but for Kara, we want to accentuate the fact that she's a pure of heart. So adding this type of symbolism somewhere in her fur, even if it's only a subtle color change, would work the best. The rest of her body would be and fit but not too muscular. In my rewrite, Kara would have grown up with Damien in the wild, so she's never been a pet or experienced life where food magically appears for her. She has to hunt and stay fit enough to not succumb to the dangers of nature. When I first started playing with her new silhouette and sketch, I took away her human hair entirely. I've never seen a wolf with hair before in my life, and I don't think Kara needed hair to make her design work. That said, I ultimately decided to put a tiny floof of hair back on her head just as a callback to her previous design and the iconic aspects of it. However, the hair is much smaller now and only maintains natural colors like the rest of the body. Speaking of iconic, Kara's fur color has to be the most memorable aspect of her design for most people. And sure, this can be a good thing in character design, but I wanted to focus on more natural colors so the wolves didn't feel as rainbow colored. So when I pick out fresh colors, I don't want to stray too far from the original look and feel, but far enough to move away from any sparkled dogginess. So we're gonna go with a more toned down tan and white color, and we're gonna keep her eyes blue, but we're also gonna make them a bit more faded. And after all the shading and textures have been added, we come out with something like this. Keep in mind this probably won't be Kara's final new design if I decide to redo the Wolf Song movie, but it will look a lot closer to this than the original design. So what do you think? Do you agree with my redesign or not? Let me know in the comments. And before we log off, I want to give a final thank you to Torbox for sponsoring this video and offering a device that not only makes my drawing process faster, but also funner. If you guys want to see more Wolf Song redesigns, be sure to like this video. If this video hits 5,000 likes, I'll redesign Arrow next. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to catch all my future videos. Bye, Packmates.